There's a few names not on that list who are already overseas doing their stuff and Ange knows all about them. Exactly right. Well, three former young stars of the A-League took the leap and headed to the Netherlands last year with two of them currently featuring in the current Socceroo squad that's in Thailand at the moment. Daniel Garp has more. If there was ever proof that three's not always a crowd, take a look at life for Tommy Orr, Adam Sarota and Michael Zullo. They are FC Utrecht's Queensland trio. They are living every young Australian footballer's dream and they're doing it together, not only at the same club, but in the same house. The owner of the club, this is the house he grew up in and he renovated everything and turned it into apartments and um, you know, he offered it to us. So yeah, it's really, I think we're really lucky with this. These boys are used to doing things in threes, signing at the same time in a landmark package deal from the Brisbane Raw last year, all are now experiencing breakthrough seasons. After a scintillating Socceroos debut, Orr has generated the most hype. Now he's delivering on his potential at club level. Yeah, I guess so far this season it's gone pretty well for me, so um, yeah, I'm really happy. In the early stages of the season, he's chipped in with three assists and scored twice, including this cracker in the Dutch Cup. To be honest, it's all a bit of a blur, but yeah, I was pretty happy after the game with the goal. But despite his impressive form, the Gold Coast product has been left at home alone, not picked to join his housemates in the current Socceroos squad. So as I said, it's obviously disappointing not to be involved in the national team, but um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do about it at this stage. So I guess, yeah, for me, I've just got to concentrate on, my, on performing well for Utrecht and hopefully as a result of that, then I'll get really recalled. At 23, Michael Zullo openly admits this is the season he had to have. I can't really, you know, be class, uh, class as, a, as a youngster anymore. I mean, I'm young in kind of life terms, but as far as football is concerned, it's, um, you know, this is kind of the time where I need to start kicking on. And that's exactly what he's done, becoming a regular for both club and country at left back. But his recent success hasn't come easily. Starting out as a left winger, Zullo's had to curb his attacking instincts. To be honest, I still enjoy going forward much, much more than I do, um, you know, defending. And I've had to really, really work on my defending and my defensive shape and positioning and stuff, and that's what I really focus on. Focus and determination for Zillo is not an issue, but according to his former manager, Erwin Kuman, lightening up is. Sometimes he's a little bit down in his right. mind. Right. It's try to open, to open yeah. like, like Tommy. In a way, that's kind of my strength as well. It's a, it's a weakness of mine being a bit too critical, but I guess that's, um, that's, that's also what's driven me to where I am now. Adam Sarota is, by his own admission, the lesser known of the Utrecht triumvirate. Naturally, I'm a bit of a shy person, so I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I don't get jealous if someone else is like in the limelight or yeah, something like that. So there was kind of a bit more pressure on them, and well, I could kind of just go under the radar. That was until Holger Oshik detected something he liked in the rangy midfielder's game. I never expected to be a part of the national team at all. Like, well, definitely not, not at the moment to be a part of it. I think um, it's also helped me develop my football. Sarota's quality with the ball, though, has never been in question. It's what he does without it that needs attention. Sometimes I said, in the game, you are too nice. <laughs> Outside the game, it's okay, but inside the game, it's a little bit of war. I guess I just got to take that on board and start kicking people. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you'll seek inspiration from the in house FIFA battles. Oh, are you serious? How did that go in? Oh. What the heck is this Or the verbal battles. Adam says to be fair, he says that about 10 times a day. I'm not even kidding. We kind of like take it in turns to be fair. Like, yeah. I've learned to cook two dishes. To be fair. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> what about um, the most time in front of the mirror? Who's the one that's like. Oh, that's that's just, why? Why? I Isn't think that? it's. What do you mean? Don't, don't even need to ask that one. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, not. <laughs> it's true. Just have some self respect, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Who's the biggest mummy's boy? Who's on the phone back to Australia? Oh, oh, definitely, definitely Michael. Oh, well, definitely. No, no Michael. chance. No, this guy. But the battles are simply banter. This bond is real. And if they continue to stick together, they may just complete a fabulous football fairy tale. From Brisbane, via Utrecht, all the way to Brazil in 2014.